Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Instagram. My name is Kelsey. I am a Montessori home daycare owner and I also have a son who is 21 months old. I am also a small business owner. In addition to owning a um, home daycare in my house, I am a thrift store owner and you can check that out on Instagram in the link below. Today, I want to show you guys my Montessori home daycare environment. Um, I'm not gonna be showing the kitchen area, which is behind me, <laughs> mainly because I didn't want the video to be too long and also because I'm in the middle of painting. So even the living room area looks a little bit messy just because I'm in the middle of painting. So this video is just going to be my living room area, which is also combined with um, what used to be the playroom. So initially when I opened the home daycare, I had a whole playroom set up for the kids. But recently, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that my huge turtle tank actually shattered and completely like destroyed the floor in the playroom. So I had to remove all the materials and I actually put everything in my living room, which is working a lot better to be honest. And I think, um, you know, that's just part of the learning process of having a home daycare, seeing where the materials should be, where the kids are going to interact with them more. And definitely it was a struggle to get the kids to actually be in the playroom because they really wanted to be in the living room, dining room area, which makes sense because it's a lot of practical life at this age. Since I've actually moved both the shelves and all the materials out to my living room, um, the kids have just been much more engaged and it's, it's just been a lot better. It's kind of a blessing in disguise for my turtle tank to shatter. The turtle is totally fine. He is in a new tank, which you will see in the video. So some things to keep in mind for my home daycare specifically, I have um, an age range of one to 3.5 years old right now. I have five kids in total. I'm licensed for six, but I currently only have five um, right now. I'm not accepting any new students. So basically the kids use almost my whole house. They use my living room, my kitchen, my dining room, and then they take a nap in Oliver's room. So I have materials kind of spread out everywhere. And like I said, I am going to show the kitchen dining room area at a later date because I do have a functional sink and I have a couple cool things over here that I do want you guys to see. But the main focus of this video is just my living room area that includes two shelves. Um, a little art table, science table. My TV stand actually has some materials on that as well. So you can see that everything is really incorporated straight into my own house. Something else to keep in mind when you watch this video is that I don't just have Montessori materials in my house for the kids to use, mainly because my house is not, although I am a Montessori daycare, my house is not a Montessori school. So I don't have kids that are above five years old. I don't even have kids that are above four years old. So a lot of the things that we do in the house are more practical life, social, um, we do a lot of outdoor things, nature-based things, and then just a lot of fine motor, speech, all of that. And I do have some open-ended toys. I do have some toys that are not considered Montessori, and I'm completely okay with that just based on the children's age. So I hope you enjoy this really quick tour, and I will see you guys next time. This is just a quick overview of part of my living room. This is where a lot of the materials are, and the children do use basically my entire living room as their workspace. Right next to my couch, I have a little table and we usually do some science activities on that table. And then you can see I have my calendar, I have some wall decorations. Don't mind the um, patches on the wall, I'm currently in the process of painting. To the left, we have our little entryway where the kids keep their jackets, their shoes, we keep um, a couple scarves over there. And then we have our little bookshelf with some seasonal books on it right now. Moving on to the other side of the living room, we have our second shelf with more materials and we also have our turtle, Ginkgo, on top. Directly across from my couch, I have my TV stand and on it I have a couple different things. I have a basket full of diapers and wipes, I have a pretend play doctor kit, and then over to the left I just have an empty tray, and underneath I have my box of musical instruments. Here's a better look at the art supplies I have available currently. There's just some paint, some markers, some scissors, I have a couple paint brushes, um, and then we have some decor up there for the kids to look at. In this drawer, it is just a random assortment of turtle food and a bunch of junk. As you can see, all of the shelves and all of the materials are incorporated right into my own living space. So 
So I like to have a mixture of seasonal books as well as whatever books the kids are currently interested in on this little library shelf. I do keep some board books as well as some paper books out here even though some of the younger ones tend to tear the pages still but this is the only way to get them used to gently flipping pages and to learn them. Over here I have a little fall sensory jar that we made and then I also have my turtle tank. This is our turtle Ginkgo and he actually used to live in what was formerly the playroom until his turtle tank had shattered. If you follow me on Instagram you saw that whole debacle. 